wanna see you I don't wanna hear you tonight I don't wanna fight you Welcome back to the channel boys. So we've done the car stuff, the ATVs, the dirt bikes, a lot of that stuff, but we've never done RVs. So here we are. We're at the Grand Rapids RV slash camper show and there's a lot of cool stuff here. Let's check it out and see what we can find. So I think that we should start off with more of the basic entry level stuff and then we'll move on to the big, bad, crazy and wild stuff. So I should probably preface every video with this. I have no idea what I'm doing. That should be like a thing I put in the beginning, like my intro. Hi, welcome to my channel. I don't know what I'm doing. So I'm probably gonna talk about things as if I know about them and I could be saying a lot of wrong things. So feel free to correct me in the comments. But we're starting off here. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys this one. You just walk in the door. Uh, you know, bed to your right, kitchen, up top. And this right here is like one of the more base models I've seen here. And something like this, this will start you off at like, you know, 19, 20 grand. I think that's what this one's going for. That's not that bad. 20 grand for basically a new house on wheels. That's kind of, that's not that bad. If you guys might remember, the only other experience we have with RVs is when me and the boys went to Texas 2K, which we're going back by the way, when we all lived in an RV for like five, six days and it was smelly and it was too small and we were all on top of each other and there was a lot of stuff, but it was a great, amazing time and I wouldn't change those memories for the world. So that's the one right here, 19, 995. So we're not gonna go in every single one of these. There's probably like 400 of these here, but I'm just gonna show you a few of the cool ones. We'll do like a little tier list. We'll do a little tier of all of them. But this is kind of like the similar model, but it's bigger. So it looks like for about $10,000 more, you get all this other stuff. So that's pretty cool. So I don't know if you guys know this, but like I am getting to that age where I kind of want to start looking for a house. I'm looking, but I don't have enough money to buy it yet. But should I just live in one of these? Well, like this is way cheaper. This costs about exactly what I paid for my vet and it's brand new. So we started off in the 20 grand range. That uh, other one was like 30 grand. This is like around the 40 grand range. This one's obviously a lot nicer. It's got the nice speakers here. Looks like relatively the same materials. This is a not real granite, unfortunately. It's like a pressed thing right there. But these cabinets are nice. It's, this is getting pretty big. You got the bathroom, shower, and this other uh, side room. Maybe this is like a kid's room in here. I don't know what this is, but. And then master over here, it looks like. All right, this is the cheapest one we've seen so far, 18,000. Let's see. Uh, this is like a slightly different version of the one we saw before, it looks like. And actually right down here, this is where Zach lives. All right, so I think this is my favorite so far. I like the colors and I like the space. It's got a bunch of beds, massively spacious bathroom. I don't know if uh, we said anything about this in Texas, but in the RV we had, we were like cramped in the corner with a shower just dribbling down and we it was really terrible. But this is pretty sick. There's even like closet space. Like that's a big closet, dude. We can. You can fit like three Caleb's in here. Like a nice couch. Cool area. The fireplace. Whoa. The speakers. This is a nice kitchen. This is the nicest kitchen we've seen. And I'm a sucker for stuff like this. Like under lighting that probably costs $10 to make. I think it's so cool. So about the tiny little stoves and everything. Kitchen table. And then the uh, king bed, maybe? But it's got its own separate door, so you know it's special. So supposedly this one's only like 43,000, 44,000. Some of this stuff is kind of like sales many. Just stuff like this, like, oh, this costs $60,000, but if you buy it today, it's only 44. Just kind of take these prices with a grain of salt as we're comparing them. Hey, so this one right here, this is like the extendo version, the big brother of the one we just saw. This is badass. It's even got like, it's a cornered off kitchen here. This is sweet. The boys could tear up the racetrack in this thing. This one is cool. It is like retro and it's designed like, it's giving me like diner vibes. I think we saw like a similar model earlier. So this is really cool right here guys. These vans, this is a company that you bring them the van and they build it to their spec. Let's check out some of these. Uh, so this first one right here, they do like custom builds I'm sure they have different packages and things 
maybe depending on your needs, if you like to go off-roading, if you like to do off the grid, maybe you want solar or whatever. I believe these are Sprinter vans, so these are very uh, luxurious. I mean, come on, this is Mercedes here. This is nicer than both of my cars. And then we got this one over here, which it looks like there's some racks and things down here. If you want, you know, biking, skiing, doing whatever. That's pretty sweet. So this is actually something pretty cool, guys. I've been kind of kicking around this idea back to the house thing. Okay, again, this is something that's far out. I don't have the money to make it happen right now, but I need a garage. I'm sure you guys understand that. So I was thinking about maybe like getting a house and then buying a garage. So something like this, like a buy a garage, seems like it could be something that's totally plausible. This model right here goes for about four grand. And then the bigger one is six grand, but $6,000 for a garage? Doesn't seem that bad. Like I can just buy this and just put it on my property. That's an idea I could get behind. So this was that uh, larger model I was talking about here. There's the eight by 12 and a half, then the 10 by 16. So that's kind of something we can kick around. This one right here is by uh, My Storage. So yeah, go check them out. It's pretty cool. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. That price point's not that bad. I'm sure when you guys, car guys and car girls, when you shop for a house, you, you know, a garage is a big deal. That's where you put your car or your toys or whatever you have. So $6,000 for a larger garage, like that's not, it's not that bad. So all these right here, guys, these are the air streams. If you don't know what that is, it's like the, uh, you kind of see a good example peeking out back there, but it's like the classic silver style. I didn't even know these things were still around. I thought they were just a 70s thing. But anyways, they're pretty cool. What do you guys think about this style? Like the, uh, oh, that's not, uh, that's not what we're looking for. Oh, oh, guys, hold on. This like style of building, hey, it's in Detroit. This style right there, mwah. But anyways, what do you guys think about the like more van style? I know that's a very stereotypical thing to say, especially right now, it's like trendy, but I would love to like redo a van with some boy some of the boys and travel with it. Again, up here, glamping with your uh, Mercedes Sprinter interior. So this one's pretty cool. It's like, got all those nets up there. I wonder if it's used for something special. Maybe like some certain sport or like on the beach. I don't know, but it's got some uh, some character to it. Okay. It's stitching here too. So in addition, there's two things I want to find. The cheapest thing here so far, it's the $17,000, $18,000 one and the most expensive. And we have another contender for the most inexpensive camper, trailer, pop-up tent, whatever you want to call this. 10 grand, baby. And for 10 grand, this is still, if you guys saw my last video, still way nicer than the house I have now. That's just color. Do you guys remember that time when we spur the moment on Facebook Marketplace, we bought a golf cart and we tried to flip it, tried to restore it, and it just went terribly? Well, uh, this is like some of the inspiration that we had here. This is from uh, US Golf Cars. These things are badass, man. This has always been one of my favorite colors. Like, look at the bumper on this thing. Six seater. We had, uh, I'll kind of show you what we had. That was just an awful project. It went terribly, but it was still fun. We learned a lot, but uh, it was uh, not my brightest mechanical moment. Anyways, this is kind of like their whole inventory here. So I guess a lot of these are actually retired from golf courses. And then they can do all these things to them. Like, come on guys, look at this. This is nicer than my, this is nicer than my Corvette. Let's be real. There's even some of these right here that are like the, the full enclosed ones with the uh, racks on the back. This right here, ooh. Boys, I don't even know like what to say right now. So it's kind of hard to see, but this is kind of the main like hallway here of how to get to the different showrooms. We were in like these off side showrooms. Now we're gonna go into the main one. We haven't even been to the main showroom yet. Sorry, the one we were, we were in was back there and the golf cart one is that way. And now we're finally getting into the main one. So I don't know if you can, guys can kind of tell this, but this whole place is just filled with RVs. Like as long as that ceiling goes back, there's RVs. I wish I could kind of show you guys like the stand up somewhere, but I'm not that tall. Cool thing that a lot of these have is they have these like outside stations. That's nice. You can just cook, do all your, all your thing and then come back inside. So we're just gonna kind of go row by row here and see what we can do. But this one is kind of the next step up here. 70 grand. All right, so hopefully this guy will be nicer. We got the master over here to the uh, right, whatever direction this is. Ooh, I'm loving this blue, guys. This blue, very good. It looks like the deciding factor is like nicer materials. Maybe that's something we'll start to see. But just kind of thinking about this, 
they have to take into account weight when they're looking at these things. I mean, you probably can't, I think, have like hard, heavy granite in this thing because it's got to move. It's got to be towed, like tile granite. A lot of those nice materials are very heavy, so maybe they don't use that. But anyways, so it's got a cool uh, living center here. And then, ooh, this like kid's bedroom, smaller bedroom. I'm sure that like pulls out or something too. And then storage. So we're gonna take a massive step on this one, boys. 130 grand. It's got this massive storage space. This is still, okay, this is, I believe this is the fifth wheel. This goes into your truck. I wanna give you guys like a good look at this thing. This is the coolest one we've seen so far. So here we go, guys. All right, this is, uh, this is probably worth more than my house, to be honest. But it's got the high ceilings, the cool chandelier. Oh, uh, no, never mind, not real. But anyways, it's massive in here. That bathroom on your right. Ooh. Now this feels this feels like a real bathroom. This is uh this is pretty nice. And this is definitely the biggest master bedroom we've seen so far. Let's see if we got a little love seat over there. So I didn't know this was a thing. Some of these have like patio decks right here. And this one's pretty big. It's got this floor here. I wonder if you could store like a car here. I wonder if you could it reminds me of like a hauler for cars, but I don't think I don't think that's what it's uh what it's meant to do. This one's only eighty thousand dollars. Oh, it's got a bunk up here. No way. It's pretty spacious in here. Oh. And I'm assuming we got yep the old master bedroom here. Nice bathroom. Now this is the next one up on our list, boys. One hundred and seventy-five thousand dollars from the outside. Look at that storage space in there. I'm sure that's something you really want. Something like this is a lot of storage space. Check out the master. Not bad if I do say so myself. Oh, no way. I think there's a, I think there's a master bathroom. We got the dual sink action going on in here. Nice shower. Oh, still not real. Absolutely massive closet. I don't have a wide angle lens. So this footage is probably not the best. So I apologize for that. But I think I want to get something that's wide angle so you can see like the whole room just to make you guys just so you guys can see a little bit more but anyways this is the kitchen i think this is the first one we've seen that has two bathrooms so i don't know if you guys can see that right there but that is a mirror and it's facing up there i guess having like an undercoating on these things is like a really good uh, really big deal i don't know i learned that today but apparently that's a good thing do you guys remember a couple a uh, couple trailers back when i said oh hey this looks like you could fit a car in here so you technically can't i thought it was kind of one of those things that you take to like the drag strip you put your car in but you like also live at it at events and stuff it is not but it is called a toy hauler that's what this is we're in a different one now when i want to show you guys around it this one's going for about uh seventy five thousand dollars so when you walk right in we got the kitchen cool whoa the kitchen i like the black accents master bedroom probably bathroom Yep, that's what we thought. Here, this is kind of like the living space. And back here, this makes so much more sense. Something like this folds down into a ramp so you can fit your ATV side by side, whatever you want in here. And then it kind of props up here. They call it like a party pad, whatever. It's just a little deck. So that's something that you could, in that bigger one, you could take your ATV, your side by side, something like that in there. And it has the weight capacity to do that. This is one of the bigger ones. You guys can see that diamond plating is kind of all the way through there probably gonna be able to fit something bigger. I don't know why I really like this, but these are all like the, the smaller ones, kind of more the mini trailers. I don't know what it is, but just something small, you know, $21,000. Cool thing, brand new. Like, that's just not bad. We're in a mini one right now. Bed, sink, and then that's it. Like fridge, that's it. So just to give you guys an idea of how many RVs are actually here, let's take a look down that aisle right there. And then times that by like 30 or 40. So these mini ones are pretty cool. This is a little teardrop shape. But just like a nice little one, two person. Not bad. So we're kind of moving along to the RVs now. That's what this section is kind of looking like here. We got this one right here. 154. Let's check it out. Whoa. This was a, oh my God, no way carbon fiber this is actually wow this is a very similar layout to the one we had in texas but uh the one in texas was uh smelly by the time we were done with it now these are all going to be a lot more expensive just because there's a lot more things that you have to buy and purchase you have the you know the motor the whole thing to make it work and you're not only buying 
a house, you're also buying a car with it. So these are probably gonna be a lot more expensive. Again with the Sprinters, this one's about 200 grand. Oh, I don't know boys, but that might be real. Uh, I can't tell, but oh, I do like the uh, underglow lighting there. The materials, dark wood. Cool little uh, dual twin bed setup for the TV there. I could live my life like this, guys. I would love to like just travel to different car events and then go home to my RV, maybe tow my Z06 behind. Just live the good life. This Super Duty gets bonus points because I love the color. And double bonus points for the carbon fiber and uh, screen on front. So be honest, boys. Is that something that you would be interested in seeing if I bought like... Obviously, it would be nowhere near as nice as anything you've seen today, but like an old RV, would you guys like to see that being restored? I feel like that'd be kind of a cool project to do, but is that something you guys would care about? Would you like watch that? This is starting to get pretty nuts, boys. Look at that price. All right. Oh my God, this is beautiful. They have the ceiling like effects. I don't, I don't know what, I don't know what this stuff is called, guys. This is something I would imagine like a tour bus for like an artist would have like or maybe like Will Smith or something. Look at these floors. I don't know how much you guys can tell, but this is huge in here. Like, I can usually, you know, reach across half of these, but this is just massive in here. This is the bathroom in here. Not like extremely spacious, but it's still pretty nice. Master, the full, uh, full fridge. And then bathroom number two in here. Master, not bad. Full shower. And this is kind of like the cockpit view for you guys here. Spartan. This is pretty nice. So there's a bunch of, let me get down here, there's a bunch of these RVs, relatively all very similar. Same as kind of the one we saw last time. This one's four and a half hundred thousand. Sorry, I can't talk. Got a coat on the side there. But anyways, same basic relative layout here, but just done up a little differently. Just massive, beautiful. And then blah, 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 that's all the options. You guys can read that if you really want to, but suggested retail. Half a million and a little bit more. Good news though. I think the floor is real tile. So this right here, boys, is a Sprinter Van Central, it's looking like. These are uh, pretty cool. Whoa. Oh, that's not so bad, 180,000. More money than I've made in my whole life. Dude, that's nothing. So this is kind of cool, guys. This opens up back here. While you're doing your business, you can open the door and get a nice view of your campsite. This one's even got the front splitter, nice. So this one here is pretty cool, guys. You guys remember the one that we saw that I said you could put your ATV, your four-wheeler, whatever in there? And it was mostly still camper. This is smaller, but it's mostly all that uh, material where you can put your, your toys on and then you literally sleep right next to your uh, four wheeler or whatever, like that'd be pretty sick. You're waking up and your side by sides are next to you. And then you just have like bare necessities here. I don't know where like you would shower, but, or you know, maybe the bathroom maybe just doesn't have that. That's kind of nice also. It looks like a shop in here, like am I? Like, that's sick. So that could be something that's sort of more worthwhile if you want like a track focused item. So after being in probably around 50 RVs and trailers and all that stuff, and seeing probably close to 200 or so, I am proud to say that I still have no idea what I'm talking about, but I can just point at things and say, hey, that looks cool. Like that stove, black accents, or mostly black, hey, that's cool. Stainless steel, white, black, oh, fire combo, mwah. Despite how much I talk with my hands and do this, I'm actually not Italian, I'm Romanian. We found it, boys. The actual trailer. So I'm gonna drop some knowledge on you boys, some real estate knowledge. Uh, technically, trailers are one of the only, like, houses, I guess, that depreciate in value. So they've always been not really a good purchase from that standpoint, but I've kind of kicked around the idea like, you know, we like cars, we like land on this channel. A lot of people will buy like an, an older used trailer and just put it on their land. And that's a pretty tempting idea, boys, I'm not gonna lie. Not that I have land to put it on, but you know, in theory. So this is it, boys, the most expensive RV here, and in my opinion, the nicest. This is the Integra Anthem. I don't wanna just forgive you, I just wanna be fine. I've been waiting for a sign to light up, yeah. And your heart is out of sight. I just wanna feel a mind. So we're actually
actually going to start from the back on this one because I can't really see the front because of the way it's sitting right here. But I don't even know how to explain this. I've never seen anything like this. This is a full RV. Got the dual pop-out boys right there. It's a nice cool side screen right here. Just look at how long this thing is. This is 44 foot from the front to the back. So I'm going to take you guys from the front when you walk in all the way to the back and I'll show you everything. This one we're going to go into a lot more detail because it's pretty sweet. Starting off at the front, that's where we walked in, right where the driver would sit. We're going to take a look at the cockpit area. Got this nice uh, like wood, uh, it's not actual wood, but it's like that wood coloring. Full screen right there and another screen right here. Spartan, I guess that's the name of the uh, truck, if you will. First screen up here. And I guess this is just storage up here. Yeah, all those storage units. These seats, guys, these are like, these are plush, nice seats. The interior of this is crazy. Interior shot in three, two, one, boom. Look at this. Also, I don't really know why they do the thing with the ceiling there, but it looks really cool. I actually really like it. There's a fireplace on the right there when you walk in. This is, I guess this is like their full inventory. Speaker, TV. I'm not sure if this thing like comes with the TVs in it or it just has spots, but little side uh, dining table here. You've got some windows, full, super nice, full kitchen. Uh, oh, maybe. This is actually bigger than my fridge in my house. So this is like, just maybe like a pantry. I don't know. Yeah, maybe, maybe pantry. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna give it that one. This tiny little side area here. I'm not exactly sure what you would put here, maybe just kind of something to stand and talk, maybe an appliance or something, because there's a plug. And on the left here, just to kind of recap, that's the door where we came in. We've got this cool lounge area. I can almost bet that that pulls out to be like another bed or something if you need it. This is the full kitchen. You've got maybe what looks like a, oh, this is a dishwasher. I thought that was going to be an oven. Uh, stove top, couldn't think of the word. This is a microwave, maybe? It's the nicest one I've ever seen in my life. Sink, basic stuff, you know the drill. So I'm gonna put a full, like, facts list about this thing up here, because I don't know what a lot of this stuff really means, but if you guys are interested, there it is. Just some of the stuff off the top of my head. This has a 450 horsepower L9 Cummins in it. A six speed transmission, weighs a lot. There was a few different weights on this thing. I don't know exactly which one is the real weight. It can tow, too, so if you don't have enough stuff in there with you. You can uh, maybe hook your Jeep or something up there to tow it. Price of this one right here looks to be $633,000. Let me go over to this price list and we can uh, take a better look here. Technically this only sleeps four people, but I mean, it's massive. It's 44 feet. I'm sure that you could fit as much more people in here if you really wanted to. All of that stuff down there looks like it's storage to me. And there's even some back here too. I don't know who you're with that needs that much storage just for people, but if you need it, it's there. Also, this has some sort of air suspension, I think. Kind of like maybe when you ride the bus and it goes to like level down to the ground when people get on and off. I think that's kind of the idea, what they're going for here. But I'm not exactly sure what some of this stuff means. I don't. I know car things, I don't know RV things. So moving on to the uh, second half of our tour here. This is the double bathroom in the master. It's looking like that. Beautiful, beautiful master here. Don't get mad at me, because I don't know what I'm talking about. But a lot of these RVs are set up, or RVs, campers, trailers, all those things, are set up very similar. So I feel like it makes them look kind of the same. There's only so many ways you can put a bed and a bathroom and stuff in something like this. So I feel like that makes them all seem alike. But anyways, there's a bathroom here to the right. Pretty sizable shower. I mean, for what it is. TV in the master. And then this is a walk-in closet. Cool. You got all your drawers and everything right here. And you know, whatever else you might need. Also too, I think that's real boys. So it's even got this little uh, control thing here. No idea what any of this does. It looks like there's the lighting and everything here. Gives you your tanks and your readings when you might need to go fill up and do your things. There's also this little light panel here. I guess it's just, just different lights of the things. Your main power, maybe some kill switches. I don't really know. This is that price list I was kind of talking about. That's the big thing. Base price, 630. Looks like there's a few options, that's why this one's more expensive. There's your tire sizes, 315, that's what I got on the vet. I think, no, no, I might have 325 on the vet. I don't remember, I should know that. You know, your tank, your heaters, your propane, all that good stuff. And then this is kind of like a layout of the whole thing. If you guys couldn't get a good grasp of that. And so that was it boys, in all of its glory, the baddest RV at the show. I don't know if this is just my stupidity talking, which usually it does a lot of talking, but I can't really tell the difference between some of those $300,000 ones we saw and then the $600,000 ones. I'm sure there's a big difference, but like 
personally, from an outsider, I can't really tell what makes that one twice as much. I don't know about you boys, but I am RV'd and trailered out. I've probably seen three, four hundred of these things today, and I am done. What do you guys think? Like, is this, you know, this is different, but is that good? Is that bad? You know, what do you guys, uh, how'd you guys like it? From the inside of one of these amazing RVs, guys, I'm gonna leave you with a quote from one of my favorite YouTubers, TJ Hunt. It's just a simple three words, and I want you to do it. Keep moving forward.